real estate land development transactions. Did anybody think that when they voted for a New York State Senator that they wanted them to engage in, in real estate land development? And, and for the record, here is the 990 for the Putnam Community Foundation. I did not sign that, I was a director. Talking about your not-for-profits and what the good does is, again, let me show you all this $300,000, 14 by 32 foot wooden footbridge, as we refer to as the bridge so to nowhere. Up. Sooner let Bill, 30 seconds. Yes, let me tell you about the bridge that does go to somewhere. <laughs> that connects the 40 acres of open space, and we did not have to build a parking facility on, the, on that land. It stayed green forever. Okay? It was a very good saving to build that bridge there. And it is aesthetically pleasing? Yes. It is the bridge to somewhere, Mary Ellen. Okay, let me just say this. People buy condominiums and homes for bathrooms and kitchens in Putnam County for $300,000. You could have had access to that parcel of property for $500 to $1,000, I am, I am quite sure. This, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely representative of the wasteful money that Vinny takes for his sham profits and not for foundations and claims that this is good for us. Okay, this is good for us. I don't think so. You didn't do it when you were a board member, but I'll invite you. Now I'm a board member. Firstly, fine. Now I'm a board member. Did you work I thought You forgot your position. Mary. Oh, you just didn't know what my position was. All right, 30 seconds to Senator. Mary Ellen, I invite you to take the time tomorrow and go and see the units that have been built for our senior citizens. And when you go down there, ask the mayor of the village of Brewster because they were able to bring the mayor's offices and the village offices back onto Main Street in the village of Brewster at no cost to them. That was a pretty good deal. I think he'll tell you he loves having the foundation in his village. You know what I think, Vinny? I think you should spend a little bit more time bringing campaign finance reform or ethics reform instead of worrying about real estate land development deals. Let the developers deal with that. Sorry, I'm going to have to worry about it at all. You do something. We'll see. We'll move on to uh, the, next, <laughs> the next question, which we ask my Chester. The county executive probably needs a good state senator to work with in advancing the interests of Putnam. Please tell us who you support in the 40th state senate district race and why. We'll start with Senator Lebel in 90 seconds. I've always said, I've always said that I've supported the candidate of my party. Okay. And that, I know that's supposed to be a, uh, a, a uh, interesting question for me to answer. The candidate from my party and I have not always, Joe, you're new here, so you might not be aware of this. We haven't always seen eye on it. I didn't know I was part of the debate here, Senator. He asked the question. You know, so, uh, no, I've always supported the candidates of my party. I'd like to know, well, I'd like to know if the Senate candidate supports me as a county executive. Is he here by any chance? Greg? Greg? I'm looking for your support as the Republican candidate, Greg. What do you say? Hell no. What do you say, Greg? <laughs> and that's how you handle a question. Yeah, deflect. That's all we That's not a deflection. That's not answering. That's deflection. My opportunity as the independence candidate puts me in a fabulous place because it speaks exactly to who I am and what I've always been about, and it's been about for the people across the board. Young, old, Mary Ellen O'Dell works with kids, I work with seniors, I work with Democrats, I work with Republicans, I will work with the conservatives and the independents as county executive. Whoever has the confidence of Putnam County to take Albany back to the people is the person that I am looking most forward to working with. Or you can pick another topic if you want to continue to use the time. Mary Ellen doesn't seem to think that the Senate position is that important, but I know it is, and so is the Assembly position. And I'll look forward to working similarly with whoever's elected because it will be important for this county. You know, Vinny, I think the people of Walton, uh, Putnam County really do revere the office 
of the state senate. The problem is, is that you haven't given us a lot of reason to respect it over the last. Well, that's not what you said in March. You, you said I don't know why you keep saying that, Vinny. You, you know, you, you got to stop reinventing history. Okay? You were here at my fundraiser at this, at this very restaurant in March. As an invited guest, I attended. And you came up afterwards and said, "I support you." No, so. I didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I have to witness your husband. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my Does anybody want 30 more seconds on this topic? All right, uh, let me just say before we get to the closing statements, since the courier has been brought into the debate, I just want to emphasize that we strive to be fair in all of our questions and all of our reporting. And if everybody has an issue with that, I would appreciate specific instances of factual inaccuracies. Uh, but now we'll move on to the closing statements. And we'll start with Mary Ellen O'Dell. You have two minutes. Thank you, everyone. Just want to put a quick little reminder, a little note. Today, we, uh, Sunday, we lost uh, County Legislator Arnie Nordstrom. I had the pleasure of taking Arnie's seat. In case anyone didn't know, Arnie was a wonderful man, larger than life. One week from today, you will make a choice between two distinctly different candidates for Putnam County Executive. One, my opponent is a 28-year career Albany politician who is currently under criminal investigation by the FBI. The other, myself, is a local legislator and a civic leader who has and always will put integrity in Putnam County first. My candidacy reflects a broad spectrum of support from prominent Republicans and Democrats alike, all who share my belief that the people's will should always prevail before political will, and they include the Putnam County former executive David Bruin, a Democrat, former Deputy County Executive Frank Del Campo, a Republican, Judy and Jerry Grignitsky, honored and very active constituents in the town of Carmel, Democrats, Bridget Brigadier General Don Smith, a Republican, County Legislators, Vinnie Tamanya, Richie Ockham, a Republican. Let me paint a picture for you of what Putnam County is going to look like with a political boss like Vinnie Libell as County Executive. We're going to have a front row seat to an active and ongoing FBI investigation that will bring shame and disgrace to this county. You're going to get a self-serving Albany style government with bloated payrolls, payoffs, personal favors, backroom deals, and the funding, more funding of a sham not-for-profits with millions of our dollars. You're going to get a self-serving, vindictive opportunist with three decades of IOUs, and he's going to use your money to pay his political paybacks. You're going to get an Albany insider who has played the game of personal profiteering along corrupt politicians such as Espada, Montserrat, and of course Joe Bruno. Vinny Lipel may have gone to Albany to change it, but Albany changed him, and now he's a man too dangerous to put in control of our county. Albany is full of crooks, but Putnam County isn't. Thank you, may God bless you and your families, and may God bless race I would have been involved in. <laughs> Nasty. Okay? Let me give you a little quick background. Five years ago, in a few months, Mary Ellen O'Dell came to my office and she said, I want to be in politics. I need health insurance. That's what she said. <laughs> and I said, fine, I'll help you. She's run three times every one of her races, Ray McGuire, our chief of staff, and myself. We've run. She had no objections about Vinnie Libel when I was running your races. Nasty stuff, Mary Ellen. Nothing to be proud of. But let me tell you something. No, not true. The issues here are taxes, taxes, taxes. You want to keep people here? We've got to do something about the taxes. And you won't get it from this sort of a leader. You have to be tough. And you also have to have some vision. You can't just drive through the streets of Brewster and say this place is a slum. You have to find a way to fix it. And you have to do that with all our other municipalities. And you have to find the vehicle that will do it. Mary Ellen O'Dell will never bring that sort of vision, never that sort of leadership. She's still looking for the health insurance. Ha, ha, ha.